So in this video, I want to look at the games of Will Anderson, the winner of the 2017 National Scrabble Championship. As many of you know, Will is one of the best players in the world, and he's probably the best player who hadn't won the tournament until this time. Um, and I want to go over the plays that allowed him to win this tournament. So the first play I want to talk about is Gross. A lot of people would not play this, but I think it's absolutely the correct play. A lot of people would play, I think, Doors or God this turn. Both of which because he's ahead and you generally want to keep a closed board when you're ahead. So keeping something... So making a more closed board play makes a lot of sense. Um, God leaves the S hook, so it makes your S's more valuable. And there are no real S hooks that are valuable. And there's only one other S out. Problem with the entire mentality of keeping the board closed here, this is going to be really difficult to do. It's going to be very easy to branch out on the top of the board, even though it's not open right now. The reason for that is because of all the hooks available. You know, if you play God, eventually that S is going to get hooked, and eventually that part of the board is going to get open. And, you know, if you play Dawns or Doors, it's the same sort of thing that's going to happen. Eventually, MO is going to get extended, and then that's going to get extended. Um, you have to block the Z, you have to block the O and Zone A. It's just going to get really difficult to close this board permanently, especially with both blanks still out. So for that reason, Gross is actually a lot more reasonable. It just scores a lot better, it keeps a decent leave, it keeps decent options on row 12, and it's just a better play overall. And the board considerations, even though they look significant, really aren't. And you're really just not ahead far enough. If you were ahead more, you might be able to consider something more defensive, because then you could sacrifice a bunch of points on future turns, and then make sure that the board was closed. But when you're only up by like 10 points, you can't really do that. So even though a lot of intermediate or advanced players would probably play something more defensive, I actually like the more aggressive line here. So in this position, Will's going second, and his opponent opens with Bounty. And he has B-I-I-G-N-S-S, -S, which is not a particularly good rack. And, you know, there's some okay conventional options. There's B-I-S setting up Ibis, and there's Nib setting up the S-hooks, but... Will goes and takes the intentional phony route and plays Bountying. Now, there is Bountied, so that makes this phony at least a little bit plausible. But this is still incredibly ballsy. You know, it takes some balls to play something like this, especially against somebody who's quite high-rated. Um, and I'm sure this is based on history. You know, these players have played each other a ton. Will's played everybody who's good, you know, at least a couple times by now. But still, it's late in the tournament, and your decision is, I'm going to play a phony, and I'm going to lay roughly 2-1 to one that it's not going to get challenged. That's tough, and anybody who can do that and gets away with it deserves kudos. You know, they deserve credit for the amount of flat-out balls that they're showing. Very, very few people are capable of doing that, keeping a straight face with when all the chips are down like this. Another thing that Will did is he won games that he wasn't supposed to win. Part of this is by inducing mistakes, by making plays that allow your opponent to make game-losing blunders. Sometimes it's not even the plays that you make, sometimes it's based on your reputation, and that's part of winning big tournaments. This is a very good example. He has no wins in this position. You know, it's very easy to give up and just make the standard game theory optimal play, but instead Will plays Yuga, and that allows his opponent to make a mistake. It allows him to play something like Gyro or just miss his outplay. And that's what happened. His opponent played Gyro, and he played out with Ilya at G3, which is a fairly difficult overlap to see, but it's still something that you would expect at this level. And inducing these sorts of mistakes is a very, very important part of winning tournaments. The last position to note is this position, where Will just finds the bingo. Um, it's a bellule through the E in column N. Now, this isn't really a strategic position, but it does illustrate one main point which is that Scrabble at the end of the day is largely about consistency. And even if there weren't a lot of really flashy strategic plays, um, Will's just so consistent at finding the words pretty much all the time. And that's really one of the main reasons why he won Nationals this year.